Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This video is for chapter 2, Mathematical Modeling of a Dynamic System. This chapter will be divided into two parts. The first part is to draw a block diagram using first principle. So in this part, we're going to learn how to draw a block diagram for a mechanical transitional system, mechanical rotational system, hydraulic system, water level system, thermal system, or a combination of all these systems using first principle. Basic principles mean that we are going to learn what is the basic equation for the elements in all this system. The second part for this chapter is you're going to learn how to produce a transfer function for a dynamic system from a block diagram. The method that we are going to use are, the first one is block diagram manipulation, where we are going to manipulate the block diagram until we get the final transfer function. The second method is signal flow graph and Mason's rule, where from a block diagram, we're going to convert to signal flow graph. Then we're going to use Mason's rule to calculate the final transfer function for the dynamic system. Now let's start with the first part of chapter one, which is to learn how to draw a block diagram for a dynamic system. So first we start with mechanical transitional system, where in mechanical transitional system, there are three components, which are spring, damper, and mass. For a spring, the basic equation is F equal to Kx, where F is force, K is spring stiffness, and X is displacement. Block diagram can be represented by a block, which represents the transfer function of the system where we can have the input and also the output. Based on the spring equation, F equal to Kx, so we need to determine what is input and what is output. So if F is our output, X will become input, then K is transfer function. Therefore, we can draw the block diagram with k is the transfer function in the blocks, then x is the input and f force as the output. Now let's consider if the output is displacement, then force will become the input. The transfer function of the system will equal to 1 over k. We get 1 over k by rewriting the original equation where now x is our input equal to 1 over k multiplied with force. So the input is displacement, force is our output and 1 over k is the transfer function. So if we draw the block diagram, 1 over k is in the block. The output is displacement x and the input is force. Please take note that the equation here is only applicable when only one end of the spring is displaced while the other end is fixed. For the second case, we can see here that both ends of the spring is now displaced by xi and also x0. Therefore, we can write the equation for this spring, which is F equal to K Xi minus X naught. Now, let's draw the block diagram for this equation. First, we need to determine what is the input and what is the output for the system. Let's consider the input is the Xi and the output is force. Therefore, we don't need to rewrite the equation because the equation is already in form of output equal to transfer function multiplied with the input. 
to draw the block diagram, let's draw one block with one input and one output. The transfer function is k in the block, then the output is force, then the input is xi minus x naught. If you see a minus or plus sign, then we can draw a summation point with two arrow into the summation point, which represented xi and also x naught. The sign for xi is plus and sign for x naught is minus. So this is how we draw a block diagram for the equation. Now let's consider the input is force and the output is displacement. Therefore, we need to rewrite the equation. Since the output is x0, we rewrite x0 equal to xi minus 1 over k multiplied with the there are three variables in this system, x0, xi, and force. Then only one constant in this system, which is 1 over k. The basic concept in drawing a block diagram is that a block can only contain a constant and an arrow can only represent variable. Now let's draw a block diagram for this equation. From the equation, we can see there is a minus sign. Therefore, we can start with output of the system, which is x0, then a summation point with two arrows coming to it. The first one is xi with the positive sign, and the second one is 1 over k multiplied with force with minus sign. For 1 over k multiply with force, then we draw a block which contain 1 over k, then the input is a force. This is the block diagram if the input is force and the output is x naught. The second element in mechanical transitional system is damper. The equation for damper is F equal to CV where F is force, C is damping coefficient, and V is velocity. The equation can also be represented using displacement term, where we write F equal to C x dot. X dot is actually the velocity, which is equal to C dx per dt. We can simplify dx per dt by write C d operational d. The capital D is represent d operational, which is represent d per dt. The force for the damper will always oppose the movement of the damper. For the second uh, condition, uh, where we have both ends, of the damper is this having displacement. So the equation for this condition is C F damper equal to C D X I minus X naught. The third element in mechanical transitional system is mass. The equation for mass is F equal to M A where F is force, M is mass, and A is acceleration. Then, again, we can write the equation in displacement term, where acceleration is x double dot, or d square x over d t square, or m d operational square x.